It doesn't change the fact that the co-founder of Apple is quoted as saying, well, simply put, my Android device does things my 4S doesn't. <laughs> or the fact that he has pointed out Siri used to work. Okay, wait a minute. Brett, let's be clear. <laughs> Apple's not hurting right now. They are ruling in the money. They <laughs> did something right, regardless of our opinions, to make money. Okay. Well, at last, we argue, no, it's going to get marginalized eventually. And it's clear. Most, in, I would just say this. Everyone watching this video, most of them, 97%, currently right now until we get more control are uber geeks like us that power to the geek <laughs> and, and, and we don't go oh what listen I on a blackberry torch 9810 well because man it's cool <laughs> don't you know it's like it's like cool you, you know what if I ever buy something be purely because it's cool I employ you YouTubians come through the screen and hurt me but just 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 come through the screen and hurt me figure out a way to do it just, just crawl through the screen and hurt me <laughs> I, I, I pick on that demographic I, I mean a lot of it just tells me you're not a educated consumer sorry <laughs> now there are people that use iOS that are educated consumers they use it because there are Applications that only exist on iOS that are not elsewhere, um, like pharmacy apps and things like that. That I know that that are very plainly on iOS. Uh, that there is no argument for them using it. It, it does what they need to do. Provides them a service, and, and that's it. But for the majority, it's it's so cool, Mister. It's so cool. All right, since you don't want to talk about the laws, uh, so, uh, okay. Um, well, well since we didn't we didn't get into it, but uh, oh, I want to say the typical response to what my is just crazy. He has a whole pad of two dollar bills that he gives out. I mean, it's like people are just are just gonna they're gonna say he's a he's not the typical consumer. That I already know the responses. Okay, well, fine. This is so five minutes ago. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> All right, we'll get into the thing we didn't get into the other week, which uh, happened actually right after we fin it started hitting the blogger wires right after we finished. Why actually? Why we were filming the the show last week? Um, and that is. App, and, and this has forced Apple to uh, basically suspend sales of the iPhone in China. I'm not. Yeah, basically, uh, th this is this is the result of that what I was telling you about, but it didn't make another story because I started reading the email after we like stopped recording. Uh, it, last week, Apple started selling stuff in China. Okay. They were late opening at least one store. Fifteen minutes after it was supposed to open, the store was attacked. <laughs> With eggs. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute. Apple said in a statement that it had temporarily suspended sales of all iPhones at its five mainland China stores out of concern for the safety of customers and employees. Yep. I, I want more details on what was the safety problem. This is the, the, the thing we were talking about, like with the stores getting attacked. Basically, they're concerned that if so, if somebody's like late opening a store, everybody's there's going to be a mob. So they're like, we're not doing... You know, I, I, you know, I do feel bad because see, China is segmented, and I, I'm going to be as little as politically as possible. <laughs> China is segmented into free zone and, and the rest of living in the toilet. And it's sad, in part, 
that and the free zones, you know, I, you know I'm, not, I'm just, I can see why I can get, I guess, very mobbish. And basically they're afraid that they're going to have more mobs, so they're like, eh, we're... Just, <laughs> but you know, you know what, though, that's up to the local law enforcement. I mean, I would sell, if, if, you, if they're yeah. in your store being disorderly, you know what? I, 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 I don't know enough. So I don't even know what I, I, I would be purely speaking out of my ass. I don't know enough about the China legal system or, or so on and so forth to even know what the process is for dealing with that. I don't know. I mean, see, the thing of it is, is I know China declares free zones, but they're free to a certain extent free zones. Uh, I mean, after all, China... Uh, is that all anything people. like a free speech zone? There's so cities that nobody will live in, <laughs> uh, ever. So, the the, uh, the thing of it is, is that I don't know enough about Chinese law within the uh, free zones here, where Apple is participating. Because this is mainly in China, they very... I, 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 I just find it funny. I, 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 know, I know very a lot of Taiwanese I'm sorry. Taiwan is Taiwan and China is China. I will always be that way. That's I'm sorry. That's how it is. The the uh, until China decides to be different and politically, then we can change that. But the I don't know enough about these free zones that if I'm going to take that Apple did the right move because I don't know how that would be. We know how it, it would go down in, in the United States, but I don't know how it would go down. Well, no, I, I, I just find it funny, you know, they were toting about, oh, we have these Apple stores in China, and China, and then they get a mob that attacks them. They're like, mm, we're temporarily suspending our Apple Store program in part in China while we decide how to deal with our Apple Store program in China. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, <laughs> not so toady of it now, are you? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, why do you need to be I mean, why have free zones and why not make the entire... I mean, isn't that the hypocrisy? Why have free zones? I don't want to make this so political, but... Why yeah, too late. <laughs> no, but it's just like... I'm thinking about this, and I'm looking at this Apple Store picture that I'm seeing here. I'll just show everybody what I'm looking at. This, uh, I mean, it's good for Apple. I mean, it's this uh, store here with this, this a lot of people here. Uh... I, I don't. It's such this contradiction of oh, you have a free zone, but the rest of the country is not. <sighs> oh, yeah. And look, a man forced by police officer to leave the front of the Apple Store Friday. So, so here's another picture. This guy. I mean. Oh no no no! They 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 were based on the sh based on the reports circulating around. Basically, and this, where these things happened, it wasn't excitement. It wasn't Sean. It was whatever it started out was. These people devolved into a mob, <laughs> and they so were. In, I, and see, we don't even we we as Americans and even the rest of the world, a lot, a, a, just say a good part of the world, don't even relate to this. You know, on. I can only imagine if I guess part of the United States would be a free zone and the rest outside and I went and I had the privilege to live in a free zone and want and want. And I guess and let me let me let me, let me qualify it and I'm saying want. We take wanting as a for no. We take wanting in this country for granted. You know the, the, for for many. It's not even a want. I mean, it, and I don't even, I can't even begin to conceptualize. Because I admit to being totally, I'm a U.S. born. I, I mean, I've been to a lot of countries and I've seen four. My wife has been from Guatemala. But I don't, I don't have the contextual understanding of a, of, of, of a despotism system. I don't have the understanding of an economic system that is so oppressive that it would have something called a free zone and nothing else be a free zone. I've been to poor countries where there is, it's the entire lack of the economy being the problem, but not selective choosing. And, and I can only imagine, I, I, can't, I can't say right or wrong for Apple. They, they, I, I guarantee you Apple's hired people 
and has a whole division ready for China that, that, that they're there and they're opening their stores. They understand the politics and everything there. Well, and Apple's not the first company to have a problem making the transition into China retail. I mean, Walmart had a big problem with it too. It's it, it's like you. It, I mean, you're you're yeah. You're, it's a cherry picking. It's a cherry picking. Not even that. I mean, it's wow. Uh, uh, the the, the best the best term to use is there's the world, and then there's China. That that's the, that's that's. There's no other countries even as 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 bad. At least China has a hybrid system. I mean, it's still a contradiction in itself. But geez, it's better than a lot of uh, of other countries. I mean, I mean, at least they allow free zones to a certain extent. No, no, but that's what I mean. China is unique, from what little I know about it, China is unique in that it's this weird homogenization. I, I mean, this, uh, I, 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 I'm happy. I really am. I don't care if it's Apple or Microsoft, but this is a good picture. And I'm happy that Apple is doing well. I'm happy that Microsoft is doing well. I'm happy that capitalism best in that regard. Okay? These people obviously have the capital uh, to get back or something. That's fantastic. Th th that, that's great. That is not the majority of the of China, but wow. I, I think, look, I, I, I'm not going to have an opinion on it. Because I don't really... Oh, I, I wasn't planning to go off on this tangent. I was just going off into the, you know, the I find it funny. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's right up there with, you know, them opening their supply, insisting their suppliers open up. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just glad that many people in the picture was just not that many. <laughs> as far as they get, you know, whatever they want, they have products versus other uh uh, I guess they, they need to talk to their friends in Western China, uh, but you know they, they're, they're uh, I, I I don't know how they handle that. I mean Apple, I'm just going to concede concede the Apple knows what they're doing in, in, in suspending their uh, stores and how to handle all that stuff because it's just uh, you know what it's so bad that the store got egged that that's how much consumerism wants to happen in this free zone. <laughs> You know, and no, no, no. I, I know this is getting political, but you know that's that's a good thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the, because those people will become voters and a majority, hopefully, in China that will make will will disband free zones, and all of China will be a free zone. So, I, you know, I hope I hope that exponentially grows. Seriously, seriously. I mean, they egg the store. Um, and that's their consumer demand. Thank God they have consumer demand. Okay. What else is there to say? What else is there to say? 